Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. Office, but my kids certainly ain't gonna see it. If you don't raise your kids right, they end up being like nude boy over there or uh, working in radio. I want them to get proper jobs, like being a doctor, not a patient. That is offensive. My mother understood I was special. She made me wear a bonnet as a child, and when I demanded to go to school naked, she was fine with it. After social services moved me, she would still write to me. I still remember when she kissed me goodbye. But Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. Get out of my freaking way! I moved to Florida to bring my kids up the American way in a theme park. And that's just the kind of person I am, opinionated and moronic. I see. Well, this panel is certainly interesting. The issue is morality. Recently, rock artists joined together to provide famine aid to Alaska with the song... Ship it. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. a place by my side in the Pastor Richard Salvation statue, but I digress and plug. Stop doing Don't that. interrupt me, boy. Anywho, I address the Alaska issue. I'm just an old man. Their hometowns come down here and shove their beliefs down everyone else's throats. That's the American way, always has been. We should send some pictures of Florida to those people in Alaska. I tell you, they'd throw down that bear pelt, saddle up the sled dogs, and get pulled all the way to Vice City. And I should know, I'm from Mars. No, you're not. Uh, Mars, Alabama. I founded three colleges there. The problem with Alaska is that people don't get naked. If you can't work on your car, or play the cello, or use sharp knives in your birthday suit, then what's the point of living? Uh, well, it is a bit cold there. People put on clothes when it's cold. We evolved without a warm covering of hair. and a stick in your hand, shifting gears over 
and over. Truckers realize there's nothing to be ashamed of on the open road. Get naked and beat it on down the line. You've never seen a sense of community and morality like a nudist colony. We share everything, the cooking, cleaning, wives, a shared sense of what it's like to be a complete social outcast. Oh, uh, wait right there, Barry. I'm getting something through the cats. Uh, headphones, that is. Yes? Yeah, okay. Uh, we just want to tell you a little more about public radio funding. We'll be right back after this. Hello, I'm sure you're enjoying our high-quality programming. I'm Michelle Montanius. Jonathan, I think it's time to acknowledge the people who are sending money in to shut us up and end this dreadful begathon. Here's a $10 pledge from Fran in Little Havana. Wow, you think she could have given more than that? Yes, mean bitch. I hope she dies an agonizing death. Absolutely, Michelle. And remember... Batsu and the Vice City Power Corporation. And next month, we're celebrating Proust's influence on Vice City in association with the Degenitron. But for now, let's return to pressing issues. Remember, VCPR is an advertising free zone, much like the moon or Times Square. Welcome back. The show is. century, the subject soon turned to morality. You see, Europeans wanted to colonize America, so they had somebody to make fun of. The pilgrims left England for the religious freedom in Holland, where they visited coffee shops, and after they packed up their ships with plenty of coffee, tea, and cakes to liven up the trip, they set sail for the New World, which they heard had a magnificent roller coaster. Once they got here, they were very hungry, having been on a ship for 65 days. So they ate for three days straight. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? I've got the children. Okay, Jan, it's okay. Men are idiots. Ask my ex-wife. <laughs> Don't worry, stay calm. I'm not eyeing you up, but I am a little worried about you. How are the children? Do they enjoy school? Of course they do. That's precisely why I'm going to start homeschooling my children. High school is a cult. There's a group of savages that rule the roost and get all the girls and everyone else is picked on and abused. Uh -oh. 
It happened to me, and look at me. I'm a deranged mess, and my husband cheats on me. I don't want my kids to go to a public high school. Instead, we have a prom each year in my living room. And that leads to my next question. People in high school in Chile are all naked. I've about had it with you, Barry. I try to be fair, I try to be kind, but you are a freak and a liar and wasting everybody's time. The organs below the belt are for reproduction and removing of bodily waste. There's no reason that when I go to buy a soda or a transmission, I need to be destroyed. What was that? The privacy about. Now, when I go to the store to buy an air conditioning filter, I'd rather not have to look at your moneymaker, amigo. I'm glad you are proud of it. But when people of Vice City are in a quickie mart, they should be able to have a simple financial transaction without seeing your fire hose. Are you with me? Sorry, Maurice. That's okay. Just try to behave. I think the sun must have got to you or something. Yes, maybe that's it. Uh, Maurice, if I may, you have a fine show here, and, and I'm glad to be on it. But everyone within the sound of my voice and smell will die in the fires of doom. It is written, TV is trash, radio is trash, our newspapers are run by Canadians with an agenda. Our very way of life is threatened. We form this great state to play golf, and I'll be damned if any weirdo hippies are going to tell us we can't fill in wetlands and make a home for ourselves, complete with 18-hole championship standard courses and selective admission. Heathens will ruin the land, acid will rain from the skies, we'll never hear my voice again, it will be anarchy. TV teaches immorality. Refugees, glue, the price of tea in China, how can we raise children in this environment? My little boy asked me the other day, Mommy, are unicorns real? What am I supposed to say to that? Do I lie and make myself as bad as the boy's father, or do I break the little boy's heart and ruin his life so that he ends up a nudist or a freak or something? It's a difficult question, Jan. A very difficult question. Is it right to lie? Clothes are a lie, Maurice. No, Barry. Clothes are a way of keeping warm and not getting arrested. No policeman has ever hit me with his trunch. I'd like to hit you back to hell, you sicko. Your filth. Human form of vermin. A blight on a fine society picket fences and garden parties, and everyone coming three times a day to my... Damn, I gotta lay off the pills. I'm saying shit. I have to say, I find your philosophy, or cult, or whatever it is, utterly and completely appalling. Why, thank you. I knew you'd understand. I mean, you seem to want to build a religion around yourself and some 19... You want me to drill you? It's the 1980s, man. And one-man worship me cults are not allowed, my friend. Exactly. As I say in the great book, many a call, but unless you have a good credit rating, go screw yourself. You're burning hell. Ay, por favor, shut up. But Barry, what are you doing? I'm lonely, Maurice. Lonely, and I need some bodily contact. Get behind. Get back behind that panel. Don't be shy. Please. We've all got one. That means I'm happy. Hey, stay away from me. I'm a celebrity. Oh, good lord. Hide yourself, boy. I warn you, I'm armed and I'm not afraid to use it. We've all got one. Look how free I am. Mmm. The fan feels so good. I feel you. Hey, hey, Pastor Richards, please put the gun away. Put it away. No. I am the sole judge of truth and decency. Get back, heathen. Get back. I love you all. Evil doer. Die, devil. Die. Ow. Ow. Dios mio, you shot him. There's blood and pubic hair all over the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, it is complete pandemonium here on pressing issues with me, the multi-award winning and soon-to-be executed Maurice Chavez. Uh, Barry, are you okay? Are you alive? Stop the bleeding. It's it's down there. Uh, do I have to? Can't you get someone else? Uh, ja uh, Ay, Dios uh, mio, she's fainted. No, hold it harder. Oh, that's so good. I need mouth to mouth. Maurice, please. I might die. Uh, Gross killed the malice. Excuse me, I'm only doing this to save your life. I don't want to. Thanks. I'm getting cold. Quickly. It's okay to use tongues. Uh, get off of me! I'm happily divorced! Shall I send him to hell, Maurice? Yes! I mean, no! No, oh, you psychotic lunatic! Put that gun away! Don't point it at me! For your what, son? You think I'm scared of your conventional lily-livered morality? You think you can tell me what to do? You think it's wrong for me to have five concubines to spread my genes? Or to use money from the statue for building my own palace in Hawaii? You think that's wrong, do you, son? Do you, huh? No, 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 no. Oh, Mr. Pass...
tell you about morality. Morality is what I say is right, and immorality is what I say is wrong. You gotta understand this. <clears throat> oh, uh, I do. Oh, I'm bleeding. I need a proctologist. Shut it. Now, next question. Ask me anything. Ask me anything you want. Uh, yeah, to, well, I'd love to, but it seems that that is about all we have time for, actually. The thing is, you see, this is public radio, and every once in a while we need to appeal for money. Or cut away when people start brandishing guns in the studio. Like this. You're on pressing issues, and in this show we discussed morality. I think we made a lot of progress and really came together. I'm Maurice Chavez. Bye. Uh, please, don't kill me. I hope you were enjoying pressing issues. I certainly was. Yes, it's almost as interesting as listening to you, Jonathan. <laughs> what? Hello? 